Hi guys, so today I am going to try out the new Dancing Dragonfly collection from Crafters Companion. I think I picked this up on Craft Stash, if I recall, but they had an HSN. Obviously, Crafters Companion probably has it. Maybe some other sites. I will link wherever, um, you know, I have my affiliate links, which be, uh, means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Sorry, I said that a little differently than I normally did, and I got tripped up on my words. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, I want to try this out. I want to try out some different things. Of course, I want to use the vellum. Um, you know, I was kind of looking at it right now as I was bringing it out because I went to kind of clean up this area. <laughs> My goodness, you guys. To see what I should use today. And there's just a lot of stuff here right now. Um, I want to use this, the Water Lily Frame. It, kind of like I did the other day when I did the um, Heartfelt Creations Large Rectangle Frame Dies review kind of thing um but this time i'll do a square card so we'll see as far as um, the sizing on that uh, but i do want to use this one these little dies only have the one layer die which you know we can always just like kind of layer up and do something fun like that but then i think i'll use oh is this another set of dies i thought this was a st oh a die and stencil okay no wonder i was like well what's, what am i looking at here uh die and stencil set Oh, so there's even more in this one, the little dragonflies. These are like those little kind of shadowy ones, like if you were just to make them look like background, you know, where this one has some detail. But this is the guy. This is like the main one, I suppose. And it does have the two pieces, the um, decorative layer and then like a background layer. So I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this one. I want to use the vellum. Maybe we'll use this card stock for a card base, which is not typical of what I do. I usually just, you know, have a card base ready or I cut one from like basic paper, but... Maybe we should try this out. Let me see if I open that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so this is pearlescent paper. And it is shiny on both sides and colored on both sides, which is nice. Sometimes you'll order pearlescent paper from Crafters Companion and it'll just be one-sided. Usually in the bundles, they're double-sided. You just have to really pay attention to what it says as far as the description. So this is nice stuff. Hmm. I'm kind of tending towards this purple one. So let's take this one. I need to know how big this... Oh, sorry, guys. Um, this die is to kind of know what I need to do for the base layers. Let's see how it says on the outside is a 5.6 inch square. The largest die is what it says. So maybe it cuts like a five and a half inch frame. I don't really care about that so much. I mean, we can get close to it. Look at that. I've been looking forward to this one. So pretty. This is so nice too, these dies, because they have the, um, you know, just like the intricate, excuse me, <laughs> um, uh, die cuts there, but in the center it has like that little embossing kind of thing where like people call impression dies, that little embossing. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's interesting. On the outside it says the largest die is 5.6 by 5.6. No. <laughs> it's barely 5 inches. It's barely 5 inches square, which is kind of weird. Um, so they just have some numbers uh, are a little bit off. I guess maybe if you count this side. So on this side, it's like five and a quarter, but it's like five in the other direction. I don't know. Uh, because of the way this sticks out. So let's just say five and a quarter, the whole thing. Um, so that means I think I'm going to do a card base that... I guess we can go... I was going to say six inch card base. So that means this has to be 12 inches and we don't have enough on the... It's an A4, which is almost 12 inches, but not quite. So A4 paper is... 11 and 5 eighths basically so let's say five and a half and we're just gonna have a little bit of extra um does that make sense 10 11 yeah so i'm gonna cut this five and a half inches by 11 and i'll be right back we'll start there. this paper is really interesting because it's not super thick i'm sure it says on there how 250 gsm it just feels like plastic i don't know it just has a really cool look really fun it's it feels different to me than their other pearlescent papers um i do want to top that with a piece of vellum do I not have a mini? I feel like this also came with a smaller paper pad. Didn't I use it recently? I feel like... Oh, you know what? That was probably the Hummingbird set. Anyway. Um, okay. So, you know, I chose purple. Obviously, you're not going to see a lot, like, if I put these papers on here. It's just going to be like, oh, there's vellum there. But um, <laughs> it's not really going to stand out. Like, this is so pretty. I think maybe I'll go with something like this one. Oh, and then that die on top is not I mean it's delicate right the little areas but it's probably gonna cover up quite a bit but that's really pretty hmm if I go with this one it's gonna cover up that whole guy let me go through my papers and see which one I prefer for this application and I'll be right back I'm just gonna use this one uh, mostly because 
I'm still going to use that big guy. This guy, he's going to take up some space. This thing's going to take up some space. You know, everything's going to take up space. So if I'm doing a five and a half inch square card, I'm going to cut this to five and three eighth inches square. Okay, so five and three eighth inches square. On this, from this bottom area, I'll leave this pretty little guys for something else. So I'll be right back. Okay, and one last piece I'm going to want for this is this. And then in here, there's some gold paper. Let me bring that out. This goldish color figure why not we'll use that so let me pull one of those out and that way it kind of pops and brings in like a little yeah, I'm knocking things down so um, that way it kind of pops and brings in like a little jewel tone with that gold with the purple and everything so I'm going to cut this down and run this through um I'm trying to see if this has any like embossing I, I don't think it does I think if anything I'm just gonna cut it like a frame I'm not gonna run it back through with an embossing folder because like these pieces all cut out really it's just these little delicate areas you're gonna have left so I don't think it'll be worth embossing. So I'll run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this guy. Ooh, so fancy. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I have everything. Oopsie, yeah, I left that piece of. Sometimes there's like sticky on here from when it was on the carrier and I forget to remove it and then it embeds into your project. So that's why you always want to remove that. Uh, I'm going to clean this out. And I will be right back. Okay, so we have a few different things. I'm not gonna glue this quite down yet, or down quite yet, because <laughs> what I'm gonna do is glue this to it, and to the um, uh, what's it called? To the um, vellum. Yeah, this frame is interesting because, like I said, it's not. It's just over five inches in one direction. But some of these areas kind of hang out more than others, so it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens when we get there. <laughs> Hopefully that works out for us. But what I'm going to do is glue this to the vellum and then put glue under the vellum in those areas so that's what's holding it to our paper instead of just putting glue everywhere that maybe you'll see later or maybe you won't, you know. It just depends on the adhesive you're using. So I'll score this at five and a half and then I want this guy. And I want to cut this one, I think, with a couple different layers. One of them, of course, being a vellum layer. And let me think. So we have this as a solid layer. Maybe I'll grab some of the paper from the paper pack. So let's just have like a print on this one. Yeah. Maybe I'll bring some purple back. I'm just looking at the back of them. I mean, you can do it, obviously, wherever you want. It is going to be a waste of some paper. I have modeled papers that are purple that I could use, and maybe I should do that instead. But, you know, I'm just going to cut into some of this. So let's say I cut, like, this little corner from this guy. I kind of even want maybe a print on the very top one, too, now that I think about it. I don't know. So I have that piece there. And then I'm going to take the delicate layer here and cut that from... Oh, the vellum has plain papers, plain vellums too. They're not all patterned. So I think I'll take a, a plain piece of vellum for that. Let's see which one. You know, I kind of want to go with the, this color, but let's go with the pink one so it stands out a little bit, you know? So let's do that. And then I'll do another delicate layer. Probably from the pattern paper, just to bring in more of that. So we'll do this one. Or metallic paper, that's also very pretty. So I'll cut that from that. This from this. This oop, delicate layer from this. And also the delicate layer from another piece of the pattern paper in the pack, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay. This little cutie. I just want to pop out. <laughs> That's funny because the vellum one came right out. This guy's like, nah, I'll be in here. Let's get this guy out. With our ejector buttons. There we go. Sometimes the ejector buttons are for the actual die, and sometimes it's just for like the pieces that got cut. Ooh, it came out clean though, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we're going to put these pieces on top of each other and then on top of this guy. Just so it's obvious that there are some differences, you know, with the different layers. 
And okay, let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. I'm start doing a little, a little gluing. Okay, this one we're gonna score at five and a half. And of course, we're gonna do some fun stuff with this. I mean, I'm just kind of trying out some of the different things in this, but if I get real artsy, that'd be awesome. This paper is really shiny, just so pretty. It's just a little different than the pearlescent paper from before. I don't know how to explain it. This one's shimmerier, I think, than I don't know, isn't it? Just really juicy, pretty color. Okay, and let me see here. If I have it something like this, I'm gonna try to center this as much as I can because, like I said, it kind of sticks out. It kind of does. I don't know what's going on with this frame, or maybe that area should be more like here. Yeah, let's do that. So this area that kind of pops out more, I'm gonna place it down here. It just seems like it fits better that way. And then that's gonna be on here. Actually, is my paper right? <laughs> there we go. You see that the flowers have like a direction, obviously, and I had it this way. So, um, so we're gonna do that and that. See if this is ready to go. And I think I'm just gonna put a ton of glue on the back of my hand. And dab, dab, dab. I think that's the best with this guy. This is very, very thin. It's so funny because I put a ton of glue and you think, oh, it's enough, but it really is not. <laughs> like, it will just get taken up by a lot of this. I'm really making sure it's on the very edges, at least. That center part doesn't matter as much to me. And then what I'm saying is like on the very edges of the, the die cut here. And let's remember what we were doing. I think it was like this before I really put, put it down. And it's going to go off the vellum just a little bit here and there, right? Because it was kind of not a perfect square, this die. So I'm going to hold that down uh, for just a little bit. And I'll be right back. Actually, in the meantime, after I'm done doing that, just have this ready. All I'm going to do is put glue down the very center of this guy. You know, as carefully as I can. Ah. That's why I went vellum in the middle, even though I would love to have vellum on top. Um, it just, you know, it shows through. So we'll put that guy on this layer. And I'll put glue just like you saw me do right now down the body, and then I'll add this one on top, okay? okay I'll be right back. So now I'm going to stick this down. And I am I know that I'm probably going to put, like, this guy in here somewhere with a couple other little buddies, because when I look at this now, I'm like, it blends in a lot, even though they're totally different papers, but the colors just blend in so well that he's kind of disappearing in there. So um, we're going to puff him up, obviously, also, and then obviously his little wings can be played with like that. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is take this black scrap of paper and cut out just a couple more of these little guys. Just these guys, this one. I know we have a whole other set of other ones, but I'm just going to cut two of these. He has like embossing. It'll look nice on just like some black. But knowing that, I might put a little extra glue in this bottom corner is all I'm trying to say. And all I'm going to do is kind of look through this and see, you know, where is the this little frame and kind of just put the glue where the frame area is. That way, I'm not too worried about it. This is actually our glitter glue. Um, only because, I don't know, I usually use Nuvo, but today I grabbed this one. Um, put a little there, a little here. Just kind of following the frame. You can kind of see it as you look through. And then in this bottom corner, I can put a little extra glue just to help us hold that down. Oh, what did I do here? I didn't even do anything here. Okay. So the frame is kind of hiding some of that glue. And I will give it a bit of a zhuzh. I kind of moved it. So let me run these guys through. I'm going to get two of those. In the meantime, I will leave this sitting on top of this to help that hold that down, and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, this whole piece of this gold paper, we could have cut some of them. I just wanted them to look like shadows, or like, you know, they're kind of in the background. And then I was thinking about the wording for, like, whatever wording I want to use. I really love the words this comes with. Um, I don't even know how big they are, but we will see when we open that up. Because <laughs> I'm definitely going to just pop on a sentiment and be done. Now something like this would be really cute with like sparkles and glitter because you know it's just like I don't know this always reminds me of like fairy tales and pretty stuff like that. So let's just put those guys there. Let's pretend I'm not going to stick them down quite yet until I know what this is going to look like. Let's open that guy up. Aww. You know I'm trending towards a thank you. I think I made a ton of birthday cards recently. Um, yeah. Okay, but what color do we want? Mm, you know what? 
I have lots of shiny colors. What I'm going to do is look for a purple metallic paper like in my stash. I'm going to cut this out of that so that way it like pops. It's real juicy. And I'll be right so back. So I went to this paper pack that I have. It's from the Enchanted Garden uh, Crafts Companion. It says it's purple, but honestly it's a little more... Well, it is purple, but it's more of a reddish purple, right? You know how purple has different values and tones in there. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> I still went with it. We will see. And you know me. I'll probably still go with it even if I think it's a little off. Let's see here. There's a lot of uh, paper around there. Of course. I don't know. It is a little too red. I think it'll grow on me. It'll grow on me, I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> in real life, I'm looking at the camera and the colors look totally different than if I was looking at it here in real life. I don't know. Maybe that's better. I don't know if that's better or not. But okay. So let's stick these guys down. And then do these guys have some movement too? Or should we just... I guess we could give them a little bit of movement and that guy's gonna be there this guy's gonna be here this guy over here I would just stick them down flat because they are in the background but that's okay we'll give them a little bit a little bit of movement okay let me um, put some dimensionals on the back of this little guy just not down his body here and I'll be right back okay so I just put a couple really thin ones there just cut them down from regular old stuff so you put that guy there. And then our little thank you, which again, I will put some glue on the back of my hand. Dab, dab, dab. And I'll place it and I'll be right back. So you how I'm placing that. I guess we can straighten out our card. That looks pretty good though. Really delicate, really cute, the little words. And I think that's all I'm going to do. But again, you know, with a card like this, you want to add some glitter, some cuteness. It does come with seam binding in the large bundle, of course. You probably can't find the large bundle at this point, but um, there is seam binding as an embellishment. But there it is, guys. Uh, really sweet. You know, I was just going for, like, how much of the items can we use from this bundle <laughs> and go from there, so that's what I did. But uh, I really like the end result. Of course, that uh, dragonfly we saw in the Tropical Flutters and Flowers swap. Lots of you guys had that one. Really, really pretty. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I might add a few little rhinestones just because I feel like it needs more sparkle. So I might add some little things here and there. But other than that, there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.